Hey guys, it's Lawrence with Laws of Physio and today I'm going to talk about blood clots. So did you know you can get blood clots from sitting for too long? Hold up, wait a minute. Have you ever fallen over and skinned your knee and then in the morning you noticed that there was a little bit of something red and hard that was covering the wound? So this is what happens when your blood clots and this is called a scab. And this is a protective mechanism that helps skin and the structures to heal and to prevent any kind of infection. This is possible because there are proteins in your blood called fibroglin and this coagulates and causes clotting. So when you sit for a long period of time, the blood in your legs don't circulate as readily through the body and can begin to pull in your legs. This increases the risk of you developing a blood clot in your leg known as a deep vein thrombosis. So the scary part of this blood clot is it can break off and travel up towards the right side of your heart and into your lungs. This is called a pulmonary embolism. This is dangerous because the blood clot will stop fresh blood from moving into your lungs and this can be life-threatening. There are easy fixes to this. So the easiest way is to get up and move a bit more. So if you move every hour, every 30 minutes if you can, walk, stretch, do some squats, do some exercises, just get up and move your body, okay? Unfortunately, I've seen an increase in gamers preventing with DVT. So this is your reminder to get up while you're queuing for a game of Valorant or League of Legends. If you're an avid traveler and you travel for a long period of time, you can wear these compression socks and they will also help to prevent blood clots. This is a pair that my wife got for us on our recent travels. The hard part is when people were flying, you're stuck in a cramped seated position for a long period of time and you can't really move. So these socks are designed to be tight around the foot and ankle and not as tight around the calf and the thigh. The pressure difference allows blood to move up towards the leg, towards the thigh, into the arteries and back into the heart. This movement will prevent clotting or the risk of DVT in your legs. Just a quick fact, if you do get a DVT, you might not be cleared from your doctor to travel for up to four weeks. So if you do want to enjoy your next trip and your next holiday, make sure to get up and move as often as you can, at least once every hour. Or if you're planning to travel for anywhere longer than, you know, four to five hours, definitely consider investing in these socks.